Hey, Amato here with Manic TV. We have Danone Isaacs from Summer MeCast 2011. So, um, how was the show, man? It was pretty intense. Uh, the show was really good. Um, for the last show, I feel like we really went out with a bang. Um, for three shows deep, you got to like keep that adrenaline going for the first show and the second and the third. But I would say for the closer, like we really banged it out, and I feel really good right now. So, on um, what animal did you play in the show? Um, in this show, I was a king cobra. So, you know, I was getting my. S on so yeah i know i saw the little rolls <laughs> oh what did you have to do to prepare for that role um i had to um research my animal i watched youtube clips i saw facts about it and i really just tried to get deep down into the animal it's really on the ground unlike the other animals i have no legs so i was always on my stomach slithering around so i really just had to embody that whole like snakish eyes and the whole feeling of it yeah it's nice now what would you say the um, person you was before the audition, before the program, to the person you are now after the program? Um, I would say the person that I came in in July was somebody who, I wouldn't say question himself, but I would always give myself a second thought. Coming out of the program right now from Rhapsody and everything that she given me and everything that I taught myself, I believe in myself more. I believe in my first decisions and I will go with it no matter what. Whatever the re end result is, is what the end result is, but I believe more now in my first decisions than I did in the past. Man, I back to that. Um, now, what are your career plans after this? Like, what do you plan on doing? Well, my career plans, I'm from Canada, so I'm going back home to go and share some of my en enlightenment with others. I'm going to continue my teaching. I do have goals to open up a studio one day down there, so that's my career plan right now. Uh, obviously, I would like to come back to New York and do some other industry stuff, but uh, much like Rap Rhapsody, I'm a replenisher, so I would like to give back. Nice. Now, um, do you have like any um, inspiring advice to aspiring dancers that are watching this? Um, I would just tell all the inspired dancers out there to dance from here. If the one thing that I've learned is that it could be moves, it could be steps, it could be whatever it is, but if it has no heart behind it, you're really not connecting to anybody. The audience doesn't connect with moves, they connect with spirit. So if you're not living through that throughout your moves or, get, or connecting that in any type of way, the audience doesn't read it, and it's just, it's just not dance. Well, here you have it, guys. Amato. Danone Isaacs. Rhythm Mac TV. Peace.